Hi everybody, my name is Lars Nilsson. I program for AFS Cinema, um, Austin Film Society, and I'm introducing a little movie uh, that we're playing, a documentary called The Booksellers. And it's a film that I like a lot. Um, and in fact, it makes me really, really want to visit uh, bookstores or a uh, big book fair. Uh, and I'm sure that when you watch it, you'll smell the books and you'll love the experience of being around book people. Again, uh, whether or not you're able to do that, you're lucky enough to do that in your day-to-day -day life right now. I think one of the um, most truly heartening trends uh, that we've seen in recent years is the resurgence in physical media. Um, the most apparent facet of this that I think that we've all noticed is the recent renaissance in vinyl records. Um, this has not been a phenomenon led by crusty old grandpas like me. Uh, it has been a lot of young people, um, and if you have ever found yourself in end of an ear on a Saturday afternoon, you would have seen lots and lots of infuriatingly young, cool people flipping through the vinyl records uh, in that space. Um, and I think that we've also seen something of a resurgence in the appreciation of old time paper and cloth books. Um, you'll hear a lot about this in the film, The Booksellers, which I hope you'll watch with us, about the particular appeal of books, uh, the look, the feel, the smell. I suspect that many of you are already well aware of the connection that happens between the book, our minds, and our corporeal senses. It's a really special thing. Um, a couple of years ago, I looked around at the world and had this horrible, horrible dawning realization that we were working towards um, a world where we just have a completely insular way of living. Then the future, uh, we'd be building a, a world that just involved everybody staying inside, watching TV, maybe reading ebooks that were delivered to us instantly on our Kindle or on our iPad. And... Um, and then groceries would show up, they'd be delivered to us on our porch, and we'd never make contact with the person who brought the groceries. It's a sad thought. Well, here we are. <laughs> That's the life that many of us, and the lucky ones, I mean, are living. And it sucks. Um, it's also, obviously, um, coming out of this is going to be tough for a lot of people. Um, particularly used in antiquarian bookstores, are going to have a tough time. They've survived every other plague, um, but now they're facing this latest, cruelest assault on their bank accounts. And so I'm going to say something that you've probably heard a lot, and you can tune out at this point if you don't want to hear it again, but I think maybe I have some different ways of saying it. Support these businesses. And I know I know you're not rich. I'm not rich. God knows. Um but that support can mean some pretty small sacrifices. Instead of ordering that book you want on Amazon, which you might do at like 3 a.m. when you're high or something, you know, you just hit the button and buy it now. Just wait, just wait a couple of days. You're not gonna have the book for a little while anyway. Wait a couple of days and then go pick it up at the bookstore. I'm talking about after all this is over. Um, it might just be a couple of dollars extra, but I, you know, you could probably handle that, honestly. Think about it. Um, and here's something else you can do that may not have occurred to you. Businesses spend a lot of money on advertising. A lot. It's a big expense. Um, give them some free advertising um, and give them the best possible kind. That's sharing your first person positive experience uh, with that business um, and share it on social media where all your friends can see it. Be honest, be clear, and just be yourself uh, when you write something about your experience and about what you found at the bookstore, the kind of uh, enjoyment that you derive from it. Um, that's the kind of advertising that every business would buy if they could, and many can't. Um, give this gift to the businesses you love or the, uh, you know, the film societies or whatever. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the booksellers. Um, for me, it just really lit a fire under me that uh, I feel like the very first day when all this is over, if this is ever over, um, I'm going to go to South Congress Books uh, and some of my other favorite bookstores and uh, and buy books, buy new books, because I don't have enough books. I only have 75,000 books or something in my house, which is not enough. Um, thanks, everybody. Uh, I appreciate it and enjoy the booksellers.